how to connect your your Android device to your computer. So first you have to download two files, the VJ setup and the new receiver. So first install the VJ and right here you have to select these two options right here the configuration and the, the monitor application and then you install it. Uh, I have it installed it so I'm not gonna install it again so now you go to the receiver properties uh, you go to your compatibility mode and you have to run uh, with the compatibility with uh, Windows 7 and also check it to run as an administrator so hit apply okay and now you have to do some some changes on the VJ configuration so open these this configure VJ that you've just installed and right here on the number of buttons uh, it's gonna be 8 probably so you have to change it to 32 uh, check all these boxes right here and make sure that this device number 1 is enabled uh, hit apply and it's gonna ask you to restart your computer so you have to, to do it in order to, to get it working and in my case it was 32 so I don't need it don't need to, to restart my computer right now because these the settings are already applied and now to check that these, these configurations were applied you can open this monitor of joy right here and you will see the 32 buttons right here enabled and this other ones disabled so that's it uh, now you have to first connect your computer and your mobile device to the same uh, network so you get them connected and you open the the receiver right here uh, it's gonna ask you to to give the permissions to the receiver so you select to to give the access to private and public networks so you have to allow it and right here you will see the IP address so you get this IP and you have to type it right here uh, first thing you have to, to take care is to don't uh, don't leave any blank space after the, the points uh, a lot of, of keyboards they do it um, whenever you, you put a, a point uh, it adds a a space right after it so you have to, to make sure that there's no uh, blank spaces on the IP so put the IP and hit play and it's already working you can see if I move my slider it's gonna move the values right here and basically that's it that's the only thing you have to do to to make the the app works uh, you might need to update your .NET framework so I would recommend you to download the latest version and if you have any problems please uh, comment below uh, that I will answer you as soon as possible and please if you enjoy the app if you liked it uh, please give a some positive comment on the Google Play page so thanks for watching